Hello my friends, in today's video I am going to be painting in my Etcher Lab sketchbook. It is their portrait cold press sketchbook and I am going to be using my Holbein acrylic wash. This sketchbook has been gifted to me by Etcher Labs. They have sent me some supplies in the past before and asked me if I wanted to try out another sketchbook and they're great quality sketchbooks. This is gifted, not sponsored, so all opinions are going to be my own. I'm not paid to say anything nice about this brand. Something that I've been learning about myself when creating videos. This is a recent breakthrough. I've discovered I like working on videos that feel like projects rather than just documenting the process of one painting. I feel like there's a lot of pressure when it's just the process of one painting to have the whole process look good and the end result be good and I get a lot of anxiety around that. It's not so much that it's too much quantity of work into creating a piece, but that there's so much pressure associated with that piece that I often psych myself out and self-sabotage when I'm painting. So it kind of creates a cycle of having to start over on the video, starting another painting, that one not turning out well, and having to record several times until I get a painting that I'm happy with. I've recently realized that I really like making videos and just showing my process and being honest with not every painting turning out. That ties into today's video because I had started with the same past mentality of creating one piece that's good and the video showing the process of that one piece. I decided to use watercolors for this piece and I found a really pretty reference photo of Selena Gomez and she looked really cute in the photo so I decided to paint her and as I was painting it was a mess. I am so rusty with watercolor since I have not used them in such a long time and truthfully I don't even know if I like painting in watercolors, I have to be honest, I think I've been lying to myself. So because I wasn't happy with the painting, I decided to add acrylic wash over it and I still wasn't satisfied with the piece. I think I have just not been using wet media for such a long time that I'm so rusty to it. So I stepped back from the piece and took a break and <laughs> when I came back, my cat had opened my studio door and spilled all the paint water on the sketchbook and on my laptop and airpods. <sighs> so this new sketchbook was so wrinkled. I was deeply demoralized when that happened, especially since I wasn't liking the painting. So I just pushed the sketchbook aside for like a month and finally just came back to it. I don't think you can tell how damaged this sketchbook is because I'm so smart and decided to iron the cover because it's cotton and it magically miraculously worked, tightened it and straightened it out, which is fantastic because this is a great sketchbook and I enjoy owning it and having it and using it so I was very bummed that it seemingly was ruined. I came back to this painting with a new approach. Actually, not the paintings. I scrapped it. I wasn't going to finish it. It was not going anywhere. But I came back to the sketchbook with a new approach. I am going to be practicing painting from reference with my acrylic wash in the sketchbook. So there was not really pressure on the painting to turn out well, and I actually made two paintings for this video, which I enjoy both of them. Because I didn't find there to be pressure on creating one beautiful piece, I felt loose and free and just able to look at the reference and study it. I think that both paintings are really pretty. 
you can see a big difference from the first painting of Selena Gomez to the second painting that was acrylic gouache. I think it's evident too that there's a big shift in my work when it comes to how confident I am. When I'm not confident in myself, I don't produce good work, and when I am confident in myself, I think I excel, which is hard because I'm not always confident. I'm not a very confident person in general, so I need to work on that. It was very encouraging to see it in this process and to be so happy to be painting and to be recording the process and making a YouTube video. I feel like I have that joy that I used to have when I would make videos. I feel like I have it again, and I haven't had that feeling in a really long time. I am truly buzzing with video ideas. I have a Notion page that I have all my video ideas written down. I'm so excited to film them and to make them. I think it's safe to say that maybe with some exception, weekly YouTube videos are back. I'm hoping to upload on Saturdays or at least the weekend. So if you're interested in watching my new videos, click the subscribe button. Let's talk a little bit about the sketchbook. I don't have much to say except that I truly enjoy the paper of this sketchbook. The paper is made of 100% cotton. I prefer cold press sketchbooks and this sketchbook comes in both a hot press and a cold press version. This sketchbook, if you buy it on Jerry's, is around $33 and if you buy it on the Etcher website, you can buy a pack of three sketchbooks. There is going to be a link in the description with a 10% coupon code for your first purchase on Etcher Labs website. It's not affiliate, I don't get anything from it, but it's a nice coupon code for you if you'd like to purchase a sketchbook or art supplies. I will also have a giveaway at the end of this video. I'll talk about it in two seconds. I have another Etcher sketchbook. I love the paper. It takes so much water without even substantially buckling the actual surface and texture of the paper not being affected at all. The pages are thick, good quality. I recommend this brand. You pay for what you get. You pay for a really high quality sketchbook found that I love the sketchbook for acrylic gouache paintings. I mean, I just made two, but the texture of the paper works so nicely for gripping onto these paints, but also the texture not inhibiting the look of the painting in the end. It's a really beautiful cold press texture, and painting in the sketchbook was truly a joy. One thing I've realized as well is that I love flat brushes, and I need to buy more flat brushes. As I'm getting back into painting with traditional wet media, I like building out blocky shapes in the face and maybe going in with a liner brush for outlines. I've realized I really like flat brushes to flesh out the character and make them three-dimensional. I had such a fun time playing with lighting in these two paintings and this is kind of shocking for me but the three colors that carried both paintings were my pale lavender, my misty green, and my opera, the like neon pink. It's crazy to me that the misty green is what I predominantly used for the skin tone without really any mixing and it looks so good and it doesn't look like the color green on the skin, it just looks fresh. For the giveaway, Etcher Lab also sent me this set of 12 half pan pearlescent watercolors that are golden and they also sent me a hot press accordion sketchbook. I personally don't love hot press paper and I didn't want to open these watercolors to just test them out for video because I know I don't really use metallic or pearlescent colors. Instead, I would like to gift them to one of you. This is going to be an international giveaway. Like this video and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Go to my Instagram and follow me there and then come back, comment your Instagram tag so I can reach you there and also let me know what your favorite fruit is. That way I know you've come to the giveaway part and I will be selecting a winner in two weeks from this upload date and I will be reaching out to you on Instagram. Let me know if you like my latest videos and sort of the way that I've been filming them and editing them. The idea of videos being more projects rather than the process of one specific painting. I'm excited for next week's video. I'll be posting on the community page and letting you know closer to the time what it's going to be. But until then, have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.